Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. In this video, we're going to learn how to offer bulk discounts in WooCommerce and show a bulk discount pricing table on product pages. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. We know that bulk discounts are discounts when we purchase a large quantity of something, isn't it? So for, let me first introduce the scenario that we're trying to create in this video and the scenario is something like this okay so we're going to offer one to five quantity of the products for five percent discount and then six to ten quantities for ten percent discount and eleven plus quantities for twenty percent discounts okay so this is the bulk scenario that we're trying to accomplish in this video let's go ahead and create this rule to create this rule we will have to go to the wordpress dashboard all right so under WordPress dashboard, you'll find WooCommerce. And if you go to WooDiscount rows there, you'll be able to go to the plugins dashboard. Now you can go ahead, create the new rule. To create new rule, we'll have to click on add new rule button, which will take us to the rule configuration page, which looks something like this. Now let's begin with entering the title. Okay. Since the discount scenario is something like this, we're going to enter a title that is suitable for the scenario. I'm going to say bulk discount that's all so this is the rule title you can also enter something that is suitable according to your scenario and then the next step is to choose the discount type if we click on this drop down we'll be allowed to choose the discount type and the discount type for this particular scenario is going to be a bulk discount after you select the discount type it's time for us to decide which products or categories are eligible for this particular discount scenario okay so we're going to allow this particular bulk discount to be applied on a specific category for our easy understanding. So I'm going to click on this drop down and select a specific category and the category that I'm going to enlist meaning include and this particular bulk discount is going to be an accessories category. Okay, I've selected the category here which means this bulk discount applies only to products that come under accessories category. Nice. Now that we have defined the category in the filter, we will have to go ahead and define the minimum maximum quantity and their discount value. Okay. Let's go back to the scenario that we're trying to accomplish. It's going to be one to five quantities for 5% off. So let's first enter the minimum quantity here to be one and then the maximum to be five. And the discount type that we're selecting as a percentage discount, you can also select other discount types such as fixed discount fixed price for item etc well let's select percentage discount and set the value to five percent according to the scenario okay and then to create the next range we will have to click on add range button and here the minimum quantity is going to be the next quantity which is six we'll have to define the maximum quantity to 10 and discount type again percentage discount and the discount value is going to be 10 which means 10 percent okay next click on add range you'll be taken to the next quantity and then you can leave this maximum quantity empty because 11 or more quantities can be purchased for this particular discount value and the discount value that we're going to set is 20 before we save the rule you might be wondering what this title column for bulk table is that's what we're going to see next so here I'm just going to enter 5% off 10% off and then here 20% off we will understand why we enter it here and what is the effect of entering a title column for bulk table in the later part of the video now all that we have done is we have defined the products that are eligible and then the quantities and then the discount value it's time for us to save and close this particular rule setup nice great now that we have enabled the rule successfully it's time for us to test it to test this, I'm going to take you to the storefront. We are on the storefront. Let me also take you to the exact category page, which is eligible for the discount, which is accessories. 
So I'm going to take you to the accessories page and you'll be able to see that all products in our accessories category qualifies for the discount, the bulk discount that we have created as specified in the rule. Okay. So let me take you to this single product page of the product beanie. And here you can see something interesting. This is what we're going to talk about before we test this particular bulk rule. Okay. Now you can see this table, isn't it? This table is called the discount table. Okay. And this can be enabled from the settings because I have enabled it from the settings. You're able to see something like this. Okay. So you can also customize the discount table according to your choice. Now you can see the three columns that are by default displayed, but you can customize it. You can decide which columns to show and not to show according to your wish and preference. Okay. That's what I'm going to show you next. Now, if we remember while creating the rule, let me take you to the rule setup. Okay, so here we are. This is the rule setup. And here you are able to see title column for bulk table. So whatever you enter here will be the title for the bulk table. Okay, nice. Now let's learn to customize this discount table. Okay, I'm going to only show the range and discount and hide the title column. To do this, let me take you to the settings first. Okay, so let's go back to the settings page of our plugin. And if you go to the settings page, you can go to the product settings under which you'll find something called show discount table. So if you enable it here, you'll be probably seeing this discount table. To customize the discount table, let's go back to the same setting. And here you'll see something called customize discount table. So I'm going to click on that, which will take you to the customization of the discount table. So here you can alter the content of the discount table. Here, let's go one by one. The first thing is table header. So if you want to show a table header, meaning the headings for each column, then you can choose. If you do not want it, then select do not show and the title column will not appear. Okay. And then as discussed, we're going to remove the title column and display only range and discount, isn't it? So I'm going to hide this title column. So on my product page, you'll be able to see that the discount table will display only the range and discount now because I have turned off the title column. Okay, similarly, you can also hide the range column or discount column according to your choice. The last setting is quite important. You can display either the discount value, okay, meaning in our scenario, you can see percentage discount value is shown here. But if you want to show the exact price after the discount is applied, you can go for discounted price. So when you select discounted price here, you'll be able to show the exact price after the discount has been applied, okay. So let's select discount value. Now all that I want is to hide the title column on my discount table. Okay. Now save and close this particular setting. After you save the settings. Let's go back to the product page and refresh this particular page to see the title column disappear. Isn't it? Now you can see the discount table only shows the range and the discount value. Okay. Nice. So this is how we go about enabling discount table, which is really interesting for bulk discounts, especially. And we also learned how to customize it. It's time for testing the rule. So let's just add five of the quantities to the cart and see what happens to the cart page. Now, if you go to the cart, you can see a 5% discount is applied for this particular product because I have purchased five quantities. Now, if I increase this to 10, you'll be able to see a 10% discount will be applied. Isn't it? Nice. Now, if I increase the quantities to 12, which is 11 and above, I'll be able to see a 20% applied to this particular product. So this is how bulk discounts work. And this is definitely great, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching.